All right, here we are for attempt number one in the NASCAR Cup Good Series luck, at Richmond. We qualified P2 as the number four car. Um, Got to be a little careful on exit. It'll get a little loose on you if you're not careful. So uh, the one is fast, the three is fast. Uh, I guess he had uh, he ran faster lap times in practice right before qualifying than he did during qualifying. So, assuming he probably pushed a little hard, got loose. Not sure. Um, the five and the ten are pretty fast. So I don't know about the two. The two never ran any laps. Um, so yeah. Two could be making a run from the back. There's only 17 of us in this race. It's split. Um, only 33 signed up. So not a big field. So hopefully we don't have a whole lot of cautions. Um, strength field ranges anywhere from 4,100 to 1,700. hoping for some uh, green flag runs but we will see I'm on the outside I'm probably gonna lose some spots being on the outside B2 130 laps All right. Follow the pace car in the outside column. Gearing is set up to where you're only using fourth gear here. Don't have to worry about fifth. Some setups I tested, uh, you were using fifth. The iRacing setups, you're using fifth gear. Um, but this setup is fourth gear. <laughs> Got to be easy going into the corner, um, turn one specifically, uh, you can get a little loose, uh, you can actually spin it going into one if you're not careful, so I'm not a big fan of being on the outside. Zane, stay calm, focus. Green, let's go, let's go. Got to be real careful. Getting on the gas uh, until these tires get warmed up. Can't get on the brakes too hard, you will lock them up. Done a 22.52. That lap time was 22.74. The guy behind has just done a 22.71. P2. I 
I locked him up a little bit there. Oh, that was close. The guy behind us is a Buster's buddy. Um, he's running the uh, Buster's Corner paint scheme. I sometimes run those setups. I am not here okay, because Zane, fuel window I could not find a setup one, that I could uh, do more than one lap in. The brake bias or something just wasn't fitting to my style. And uh, I tried making multiple adjustments to them. And they just weren't working for me. They just Sometimes I can take a buster setup and run real good with it. So the pit window is now open. I like I was gonna get a little loose there. Got in a little too hot there. Clipped the apron there, got out of shape. Just done a 23.11. That was a 23.18. Breaking point. That lap was a 23.09. Gap to Some guys, uh, is now 0.82. I've gotten a little uh, loose. I'm seeing some marks. Yeah, here comes the number two, so he is making a run from the back. You've just done a 23.29. behind, got brushed the wall, coming out of two, may not have hurt him too much. Hopefully, uh, these the are the 
23. Type of tires that's on the car are the uh, short track tires. Hopefully this doesn't turn into another Iowa for me to where I can't manage the tires like we did last season. Henry behind is now I normally run uh, pretty good in Iowa, but these cars I didn't do so hot. So. Oh, got it on the gas a little too hard there. The gap in front is now 3.1 seconds. That last lap was a 23.53. It didn't surprise me that the uh, one is running off from me. He was very fast. I'm surprised that three is not up here yet. He's pretty fast. Two's really fast. Two's might be able to go run down the one. Sorry about that. Just break too hard. Your last lap time was a little tight coming out of four there. Hopefully I didn't. Hopefully I'm not driving my tires off, which I probably am. I got pressure behind me, Justin. I gotta move. That lap time was 23.72. High side. Hold your line. Still there. The gap in front is now 4.3 seconds. Still there. Hold that line. Clear high. Alright, so I allowed the guys behind to catch. Alright, so we are going to go down two clicks on brake bias, trying to help us turn in. I think I toasted my right front already. Another two clicks down on brake Thank bias. Yeah, my right front is gone just like it is at Iowa. So this race is not going to go too well for me. You've just done a 23.78. a little bit more, two more clicks. That lap was a 23.83. Yeah. My right front is toast. That was a 24.00. With the apron, so that's not too good. Yeah, I'm just holding these guys up behind me. That was a 24.00. Go 
down a couple more clicks of brake bias. Car inside. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. E4. All right, Zane, you're reeling. Henry, in. The gap's now zero. Point zero seven. The clear down low. Front is toast. Here comes three. You got a car on the low side. Clear low. Car inside. He's still there. Hold your line. Clear low. There's a car inside. Hold your line. He's still there. Yeah, I'm just fading clear. really bad right now. Sixth place. So my right front is gone. These uh, softer tires for short tracks, I just I cannot take care of them for some reason. Sorry, Paul, that was all for it. Thank you, Corey. Okay, you're going to go down with some more brake bias here. Six. Inside. He's still there. Still there. Clear low. So yeah, this Mario, is Mario, Iowa Mario. all over again. Car on the low side. P7 road. Inside, clear. You've just done a 24.55. Do I have any damage on my left side when you're passing me? I didn't see any, bud. Okay. Is the near battling with folks really kills your tires? Yeah, now here comes the 14. He's catching us. front has increased. It's now about zero point eight five. He was seven seconds back, yeah. I have worn this tire out so much. Make sure. Thanks, sir. Okay, so maybe I do need to revisit some of the uh, buster setups that are looser going in because maybe I'm braking too late and overdriving it. The only thing I can think of is um, driving it too hard and wearing it out. Because, yeah, the guys behind, I'm just falling like a rock now. Okay, Zane, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. The gap 
ahead is now 1.41. Thank you for a room, baby. Make a drastic change on my brake bias here. Henry is getting closer. The gap's come down to 3.1 seconds. B6, that last lap was at 24.41. for. Golly, I can't believe that. I love these short tracks, but man, I just cannot drive them in these cars. I just wear the tires out way too fast. Yeah, so I've got the brake bias as low as it'll go to help this thing turn, and it still ain't turning. That lap time was 24.31. Okay, Zane, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Be real careful coming off the corner, though. B6, the gap in front is now 2.1 seconds. Be careful, got a full course caution. All right. Don't know what happened there, but I'm glad. Show tires. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero seven. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Pits are open. Really? Last night we went clean, front to back. Well, that was a good uh, green flag run at least. Blue cars pitting. Your speed. Uh, I think the speed limit is 40 been miles per hour. I've been able to stay away from any incidents, but, you know, we'll see how this goes. Start looking for your sign. Hey, Philip, are you running one of the buses? Five, cars? four, three, two, I am. one. Stop on the well, side. Well, that was a piss uh, stop there. No, this is uh, a modified version of 1.7F. Okay, cool. Yeah, I ran 1.7 the other night and then made my own changes. And because uh, 1.7 was just a little too uh, loose on after about 15 laps. Okay, I switched from Battle Axe. Do 1.8 in 1.8. I was struggling in my 20 second position with the strength of field of I think 2200. So I just tried the 1.4. Uh, much more comfortable for my style of driving. It's nice and tight, but I'm killing the tires. I had to pit at lap 40. All right. So speaking of tires, I wasn't even looking at that. Yeah. Show tire info. Back to like 1.0. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so after 50 it, laps, we're at 59%. Richmond's not my favorite track, or not my best track, so I'm just going to struggle wherever. So... Uh, 10-4. All right, so somehow we gained. Actually really good. I guess the two got in an accident. I lowered it. I think does all right. Well, what was your tire wear at? Todd, what was your tire wear at when you just changed tires now? Yeah, uh, seventy-one and ninety. Yeah, I was 75, 87, and I'm, yeah, I'm the same way. I just made a spring adjustment and changed some tire pressure, and I'm running stock setup too. That's impressive. I'm running 78, and I was after 40 laps, not even 50. Yeah, but I haven't ran a long. This is my first race all week tonight. I know I'm killing the tires. Well, of course, yellow. It's our okay. Yeah, I, won I the, killed mine for sure. Race last night, um, or Tuesday night, sorry. Okay, Zane. Uh, we're going to be on the outside, outside, outside again. Line. Yeah, it's hard to find a nice long run setup here without, you know, chewing them all up. Uh, I, I think the ought to change this, the name of this racetrack, Richmond Motor Speedway, to Slick Motor Speedway. All right, let's uh, try not to eat the tires yeah, off this time. I can't get time. off the corner no matter what setup or what I do to the car. I can add as much toe out or toe in and as much, you know, almost no camber on the right rear and it still just, just kills me on exit. Green flag, we're racing. Yeah, it's like the tire is free. E3. Car inside. Yeah. Still there. Still there. Clear on the inside. Alright, I gotta figure out what tire pressures will do. I went up on the right rear. I don't know if that's gonna help me with turn in. I am gonna back up my corner some. Problem is, is that, uh, that could hurt my exit and make me even looser on exit because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to tire pressures change. Oh. I'm just going to let the three go. Car inside. Hold your line. Still there. Full course caution. Watch out. Ooh. That, that was a bad bomb fight with someone. I'll tell you, that brake bias adjustment that I just made helped. That's why you got back by me 13, because it started pushing when I was hitting the brakes. The front brakes were locked. Yeah, I got my brake bias at 47.7. How, how low are you guys? Uh, right now mine's at 48. 52. I'm at 44. Pace car's out. It's closed. Pace car's out. Line up single file Man, behind 44. car number That's 0, good. 7. I don't necessarily think it's impressive. I think it's... it's I mean, I'm, I can't deal with it too high because then I push and then if I move it too high, I'm at 44 but I have to break early to keep it from snapping. See, I yeah, think that's a problem. He's braking a lot earlier. I like 47 because it's close to the midpoint and I can just control it in case it wants to snap. Um. Yeah, it's weird. I don't get after about seven, eight laps. It seems to want to lock up the left front. So, yeah. I did try uh, some of those. Wow, well, he's out. Gravity. So, I did try I some a, of those uh, Buster's Corner setups. So, I made and a master cylinder change and a spring change. And I was able to almost eliminate it. Yeah, I figured out with the left front spring. I had to drop the left front spring to get some more weight on the tire. 
so it wasn't like a, and the way I figured it out is I turned the freaking uh, brake assist help on. I was watching That's the guy's right. left foot freaking bounce all over him. <laughs> That's smart. You use the animation. <laughs> right. So it was telling me that even with ABS, it was trying to lock up one of the damn dots. And so, I anyways, I tried one of their sets, and, and yeah, I guess I'm ABS, driving in too deep, you see it was a left -left and it's left. causing me to spin. Ah, damn you, so, Now I'm looking down at my freaking feet in the car. <laughs> damn. That is cool, though. <laughs> I never noticed that before. No, if you use the brake assist, yeah, his foot will be like pumping the freaking brake. Yeah, they, they actually changed that in the last update. Well, don't laugh, but I didn't know you could use Alt-K and move all your stuff around and make it bigger and smaller, your black boxes. That's <laughs> like two weeks ago. And I've only been on this ship for like, I don't know, 13 years. Yeah, my brother was the one that taught me that. I didn't learn it till I've been on here for a year, and I didn't that until about two weeks ago. Alright, so we got this one, this caution out of the way, so uh, we yeah, can go to the rest of the way. As old as William Van Dyke. We'll be starting on the you inside know, this I time. I one guy a couple of years ago, he was 80 something. I can't remember his name. But he was somebody's dad that races on here. Let me put it this way. When I get to be 80 years old, I I hope one thing. I'm still racing. Ice cars coming in this two, line. That there's some 22-year-old blonde riding up and down. I'm, uh, you damn right. Hey, All right. Man. God, I keep looking down the freak. Dude, why don't you have to tell me about the damn feet? Damn it. <laughs> I don't know why his foot moves so drastically, though. That's what I could, like, have nothing able to figure out. You know why? Because his foot is resting on the clutch pedal. So when you go to hit the brake pedal, he has to move it to the, to the right. Alright. Yep, exactly. To the left, I guess. Green clear inside. Felt like I was going to spin out right there. You're locking up big. That wasn't me. The five locked up in front. Yeah, that was that was me. I tried to send it in. All right, Zane. Uh, Forty-four. Fuel's good. That lap was a twenty-two point eight nine. Yeah. I probably need to make the math. But I already got the, the front at like one inch and the rear at like 27, 30 seconds or something. Alright, so the brake bias is uh, helping me turn in a little bit here. Got a full course course. Right, Watch Dennis, out. There's nothing I can do once you collect well, the Well, we box. go 50 laps. Green. And now we're having trouble getting another 20 in. Hey, six, I'm sorry. Pace car is out. Line up single man. file. Front down, car number no zero seven. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. I thought he was going to save it, and then next thing you know, I just get collected. Of course, yellow. Door. Pits are open. Yeah, I backed off, but it just wasn't. 
Well, I knew you were down there, and I was like, ooh, he backed off, so I'm going to go low, and maybe I can, you know, he won't hit the wall, and next thing you know, he's in my door. Yep, and like I said, I backed off, and I still couldn't keep off of him. Uh, that sucks, I lost the lucky dog, too, because... Five minutes of optional repairs. Cool, course yellow. Well, it's how, open. how's my note? I'm glad I'm not in the back. A bit. I mean, from, from the virtual mirror, it doesn't look bad. I can't see anything. Yeah, I just barely pumped them. It still gave me a 4X. Nah, yeah, you look good, man. Especially here. Should be alright. Let me know when y'all are on, uh, one to green. Right now, we're still on patience. Bet. Nope, they just shortened it. Going green this lap. <laughs> that was just wrong. Yeah, that's not funny. And Todd, Todd, stop looking at you. I gotta figure out how to turn that shit off. You can't. Oh, damn you, Don. We're under caution. Alright, so we'll be starting on the inside again. Um, I kind of want to lower the brake bias a little bit more, no, but I'm hesitant to. to. A bit so, I can't see them. so, I think I'll keep it where it's at. No, I feel like I'm kissing the windshield. You mean you're driving like Gran Turismo in Forza? You know, I don't know. But the way I have my car set up, I can see a good three three quarters of the steering wheel. We're coming to one to green five. Dang, I still got three minutes of optional repairs. Okay, Zane, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Yeah, I tried to stay off both of right. you. We're just trying to take it easy and conserve our tires. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, I could have not went for it, but I, I don't know. Breaking spot, and I'm trying to uh, back up my breaking point there. Getting loose coming out. Done a 23.00. Three wants around me pretty bad. I keep waiting for him to send it, but he hasn't yet. I 
do expect him to send it any time going into one. Here he comes. Carlo. Ah, he's got it. Still there. Hold your line. He's still there. Still there. Still there. Your inside's clear. Three gets a little loose Carlo. there. Clear on the inside. B three. Keep worrying, I'm gonna Rush the wall on the front stretch. Just trying to back up the corner as much as possible. Gotta be real careful coming off of two. Tire pressure adjustment that I made. Your last lap time was at twenty three point one nine. Three. That lap was a 23.40. Yeah, right uh, so one pull me to the left some as I'm getting on the brake going into the corner. So that's uh, a good thing. So it's helping me turn in. That was a 23.31. Comes to six. The lock time was our inside. Hold your line. My bad. I mean, I didn't know you were. Whatever. He's still there. He's still there. Hold your line. He's still there. Still there. Hold your line. You thought the lock time was at 23.76. Clear low. Car inside. Here comes a nine. Hold your line. Clear on the low side. Inside. Hold your line. Still there. B5. Clear on the inside. I don't feel like my tire's gone like it was the first run. Yet. You've just done a 23.64.
Okay, Zane, the next car is Robbins. That lap time was 23.58. You go down on the brake bias, four clicks. I just let him by. Hello. He's still there. Hold your line. Still there. P6. He's still there. You're clear on the low side. Car outside. Still there. You're clear outside. That lap was at 23.67. Alright, I think she's gone now. That lap was a 23.76. Sixth place. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Clip the apron. Got all out of shape there. The lap time was at 23.91. Zero point eight zero. You just have to drive off, so I gotta be real careful with that. Because it's uh, a little loose with that air pressure adjustment. I think maybe I should probably change the uh, one of the front tire air pressures for uh, entry. The gap ahead is now 0.81. Bad corner. Armstrong behind is now 2.8.
we've just done 24.12. Oh, Phil, you just lost it. Yeah, I just lost the motor, but, I mean, nothing was going red. It don't go red, this car fell off. Your lap time was 24.03. So, it just, it just blows without any, any, any notice? Well, you can tell when it's going, because it'll start getting slower and slower. Well, I was passing people. Well, then something had to be lighting up red there, somewhere. No, just all of a sudden my oil pressure just dropped it. Oh, That lap time was 24.00, car high. Still there. Still there. Clear outside. The car behind is catching. The gap's now 0 0.20. Yeah, the car behind is catching. He was 2.1. He was ahead of 2.7 second lead on him. P5. The irony is you had no front end, so you would think that would have kept things cooler. Car in front is Robbins. Yeah, but you could have damaged the oil pool. That lap time was 24.00. You know, if he lost, if he lost oil pressure, that'd just be a year damage oil pool or put a hole through the oil pan. Alright, so change the brake bias, uh, air pressure adjustment. Over when you decided to get out of the pit, though? And backing up my corner seemed to be helping. The gap behind is now 0 0.77. 20 laps to go. That's kind of weird for it to be that terminal, but yeah, that's just shit, though. Armstrong is catching. Well, that was the weirdest shit. That was a 24.08. P5. Yeah, see you in the next one, Phil. Reeling Robbins in. The gap is now 1.00. Oh, get a little loose there. Last lap was a 24.07. Mm, overdrove that corner. Oh, what the hell? Got tight as crap right there. Oh, that's right. right. Oh, good buddy. 
I was just trying to keep Captain it off. Robbins ahead is now 1.17. Oh, you done good. Yeah, you just, I just, I don't know, I just can't give anything extra with this car. Just any little bit extra and it's just loose as shit. Yeah, you ain't kidding me. Like I gotta change up my driving style about every five laps, five to ten laps. You've just done a 24.18. Twelve laps to go. The gap behind is now 1.31. Uh, slowly reeling in the nine until I messed up, but I think if I'd have caught him, I don't think I could have gotten around him anyways. Captain Robbins in front is now 1.51. I think my right front is uh, gone now. Oh, got a little uh, sideways there. Yep, yeah, my right front's gone. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. The gap behind is now 1.57. Clear high. Car outside. Hold that line. Still there. Hold your line. High side is clear. That was a 24.57. Car high. He's still there. You are clear outside. Your last lap time was a 24.59. Laps to go. Uh, had a good long green flag run at the beginning, a little instance right there in the middle, and uh, Another long green flag run here at the end, so it's been a good race, an enjoyable race. I just need to figure out how to save my tires. The gap behind is now 1.18. Should be getting a white flag. Why 
Watch life, one more lap. Let's try not to screw this Eight up. Gap to Robins, and it is now 2.9 seconds. That's a good race. Good and clean all, all the way through. I went all the way from lap 50, 13, from when we had that caution on my cut. All right, there we go. Never mind. Well, report. pulled out a P5 out of that. I did on the caution. When the next one came out, I didn't go in. I stayed out on the same side. All right, let's take this thing back to the pits. Yeah, I could have fitted the tires on that lap. Would have been able to give you a run for your money. We'll go take a look at Rex and results here. Watch your speed limit in the pits. All right. Look at Rex and results. I don't know why a rear end was so loose. I still had 80% on that. Yeah, on so that I don't freaking, forget. Freaking right rear and um, did much better yeah, on my tires that time. Down the gas, it was loose as a goose, and I had 59% gone from the so, right front. You know, 30 laps extra on, on right my tires, front. and granted we had some cautions, but uh, still we had a long green flag run right there. And my tires were in a lot better shape. 51% yep. up front and 81% and so, in the rear. All right, let's go take a look at Rex. Oh, see you guys in the next one. Eventual winner actually spins. Lap three. Where's the rest of the field? Good question. Versus the wall. Brushing the wall. Fifteen, love tap on the ten. Fifteen locks them up and they touch. Two and the five. Thirteen gets in the back of the ten. 17 to blinker, 10 completely misses the corner. Seventeen to blinker. Two's gonna brush the wall. He's gonna brush the wall. Oh, too hard under the gas. into the wall. See, so yeah, I was always afraid of doing that. And he's going to do it twice. just kind of pushed out and hit the 15 so I think that was on the two don't know why we're seeing pit stops team brushes the wall here's the 15 then the two again here's the 
two into 15 again. The two gets into the 15. I'm not sure if that was uh, payback or what. Did the caution not come out for that? Yeah, caution come out for that. Okay. Is that what the other caution come out for? I think so, because I think we went green from... Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, there was the other caution. Fourteen had a pretty good run for keep brushing the wall. I will say that. Everything else from this point is going to be uh, brushing the wall. So let's go take a look at results. Alright, so we gained 27 I rating, or 27 safety, we gained 28 I rating, and we finished 5th with 115 points. So, good run, good race, um, need to try to do something different on my car to save tires. Um, yeah, the 6, I mean, he didn't run... As fast as lap as the majority of everybody else, and he ended up winning just by saving his tires, pretty much. I can almost guarantee that. So, um, I guess I need to do the same. So, it was good. It was fun. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.